That's why you say like it or not, you got to pray. That's why you say like it or not, you got to pray. Your prayer can be the key to set someone free from their captivity. And you find this account in the book of Acts of the Apostle 12. Hallelujah, verse 1 to 12. Acts of the Apostle 12, verse 1 to 12. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of the unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four continents of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keeper before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chain fell off from his hand. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandal. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out, and followed him. And was not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. And when they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that lead unto the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and passed on through the street, forth with the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of surety that the Lord has sent an angel and deliver me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. Amen? Amen. I said, like it or not, you got to pray. Hallelujah. There were many, hallelujah, they were gathered together praying. Ah, the Bible said, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, said the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. For prayer is a two-way communication. You speaking to God and God speaking back to you. Now some of you don't believe that God also speaks by his spirit. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 33 verse 33. Jeremiah 33 verse 33. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Hallelujah. First Samuel 30. Hallelujah 3 verse 8. Hallelujah. First Samuel 33 verse 8. So David and his men came to the city and behold it was burned with fire and their wives and their son and their daughter were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lift up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wife were taken captive. Anioma, the Jezreelites, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people speak of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved. 
every man for his son and for his daughter. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said unto Abitar the priest, Amilek son, I pray thee bring me the Ita, the Ephod. And Abitar brought Tida the Ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fear recover all. Again, I say, like it or not, you got to pray. So why do we pray? Because it is the right thing to do. Hallelujah, prayer. Hallelujah is being communing with the Almighty God. Hallelujah. We communicate with our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. And when we do, hallelujah, something happen. Hallelujah. We see in the book of Luke 18 verse 1. Hallelujah. The book of St. Luke 18 verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that man ought to always pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. Man always need to pray and not to faint. Glory to God, who bless his holy name. Hallelujah. And we look at the book of 2 Timothy. Hallelujah. 1 to 3. Glory to God. 2 Timothy, hallelujah, reading verse 1 to 3. Though therefore, my son, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace and mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayer day and night. Hallelujah. Day and night. These men were men of prayer. That's were their lifestyle. David said seven times a day I pray unto my father, Daniel prayed three times a day. Prayer is essential. It is necessary like the very ear that you breathe. I pray right now, hallelujah, that your heart will be stored in you to spend more time in his presence. For he that dwell in the secret place of the most, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Funny to say this, Psalms 91 is one of the most popular Psalms prayed by both believers and unbelievers. Or should I say, recited by most people, whether they are Christian or non-Christian. But yet it amazes me that many don't see the truth of that particular chapter. It starts off with a promise. Hallelujah. But for that promise to be activated, you got to be a believer. For the secret place is the place of prayer, communion, fellowship, and the Lord. Hallelujah. God said no man commit. To the Father, but through the Son and by one Spirit, we have access to the Father. So it is the Holy Ghost that make the connection become a reality to us. So what am I saying? Psalms 91 won't work for the majority, for it is a promise for believers. It may. <laughs> Hallelujah. Many people have it so are fully wrong. Hallelujah. And I say many believers become lazy where this is concerned to pray. So again I say whether you like it or not you got to pray. 
The blood of Jesus made you righteous. And the word of God said the prayer of the righteous man avail much. The fervent are felt prayer of the righteous avail it much. You are connected to the unlimited resource. I hear the word of God saying prayer begin to heal. Prayer begin to restore. The prayer of faith shall heal the sick. For pray for one another that you might be healed. Pray without ceasing. Pray forevermore. Be instant in prayer. I don't know about you, but as for me and my household, we will pray everywhere, anytime. We will speak to our Heavenly Father even on behalf of others. And we call that intercession hallelujah and we call that intercession and you find that in first timothy hallelujah reading from verse two hallelujah one two five glory to god first timothy hallelujah reading from verse two chapter two hallelujah one to five I exhort you, therefore, that first of all supplication and prayer and intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Saviour who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth for there is one god and one mediator between god and men and that is the man christ jesus hallelujah i say like it or not you got to pray hallelujah let us look in the book of ephesians glory to god ephesians 6 Hallelujah, 17 to 18. Ephesians 6, reading from 17 to 18. And he said, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray now always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, watching dear unto with all perseverance and supplication for our saints. So not only for yourself, but you were called to intercede on behalf of others. So if you are a true believer, a child of God, this is no, 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 no. What is the word should I use at this point in time? This is not negotiable. Hallelujah. There is no escape. No way out. No way around this truth. Like it or not, you got to pray. Sister Shoneta say you got to pray. I say like it or not, Pastor Baba, you got to pray. This is such a broad spectrum to cover. Why you got to pray? Don't wait until you are in a storm before you pray. Prayer is vital. Be a man of prayer before you pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. How ah, we worship you, mighty Father God. We extol and lift up your holy name. We adore you. For Jesus said, he gave us a pattern how to pray. He said, say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. And hurt as it has been done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. So again I say like it or not. You got to pray. For God has said by his spirit, if my people who are called by my name 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive them of their sin and heal their land. So, oh Lord, hear me pray. And if I not to answer me, Father, oh Lord, hear me pray. Unto you, prophetic, I pray. Oh Lord, hear me pray. And if I not to answer me, Father, oh Lord, hear me pray. Unto you, prophetic, I pray. Abba, Father, me thank you. You guard me with strength, with it, me, I go praise you. Abba, Father, protect me from the evil. Lead and guide me for you are able. Abba, Father, you know, see where you are gone. Open up your eyes, Lord, no make it carry on. Only you alone can rebuke this time. And see the people from grievous arm. Perilous times are here. Lord, may God your people are draw near. We offer unto you the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Let your will be done on earth as it has been done in heaven. Open up our ah, glory to God. I say like it or not, you got to pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like it or not, again I say you got to pray. As I'm about to close my sermon. Hallelujah. So based upon tonight's message, let me see the hand of all of you who will spend more time in prayer and reschedule your agenda, prioritizing your time to pray. A song, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day, read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. And you will grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. Prayer bring you into the realm of the miraculous. You find that in Luke three twenty one to twenty two. And also in Acts 2, 42 to 43. And in Acts 9, 11 to 12. Acts 9, 37 to 41. Glory to God. We bless your holy name. So again, as you like it or not, you got to pray. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name.